You're going to be in the shot also? Yes, I'm trying to make that possible. That's why I'm putting it in the corner here. All right, I'm going to commence the hearing. It's uh, uh, the 22nd of May, uh, 2018. We're in uh, room 3075, 1 South Van Ness Avenue. I'm Henry Epstein. I'm the neutral hearing officer appointed by SFMTA to uh, adjudicate cases of alleged uh, discriminatory conduct on the part of Muni drivers, uh, with reference to Muni patrons. Uh, in the room is uh, the patron, Mr. You'll have to pronounce their name. Uh, Carnazes. Carnazes, and do you, would you like me to call you Mr. Carnazes or the patron for anonymity? Or? Um, the patron is fine. Okay, the patron is Mr. Carnazes. I will refer to you as the patron from now on, and the operator in the in this case is Mr. Edmund Sue. How would you like me to address you? Is your player name or operator? Okay, I'll... Okay, so uh, the time is about 2.05. Uh, the sole purpose of this hearing is to, for me to make a finding as to whether the uh, passenger service report number 540443, uh, the incident under that designation constitutes a disability-related rule violation or not. Uh, this incident was on the 23rd of February 2018, uh, about 6.03 p.m., and um, at the, the location was Market and Van Ness Street. Uh, I didn't mention that Anthony Ballester, Ballester. Ballester the, is a union representative who is entitled to be here to advise the operator. Uh, I will call upon both uh, parties, the operator and the patron, to uh, make a statement regarding the incident. Uh, and um, the union representative can uh, pose questions of either one uh, later, on, later on in the hearing. Uh, and uh, unless I rule the questions are irrelevant or invidious for some reason, uh, they'll go forward. We do have a tape of this incident. Let me ask the patron if he saw the tape. Have you seen the tape? I have. I've seen part of it because part of it is lost. Which part do you contend is lost? The part that I contend is lost, which I emailed SFMTA about, is the part of me exiting the bus. Okay. That is a serious problem. We may problem. be able to see it. But, uh, okay, let me just uh, break down the... What I'll do is have Mr. Have the patron uh, state his version of the complaint. But first, I want to read some of the complaint just to make sure that it's accurately recorded. How did this complaint come into SFMTA by 311 line or email or what? Yes, it was a phone call to 311. When did you make that call? Do you remember? Um, it should be listed here. Um, it says here on the incident date and time is 2 2018 at 6.03 p.m. Um, I'd like to point out that the service request number I have is slightly different. It's 867 1966 is the number I have for this case. But I imagine it's the same thing. Maybe it was just a different. Well, I don't see that it makes a difference. Do you see how it makes a difference? I just wanted to put that on the record just to make okay. sure we're talking about the same case. Uh, well, this is Market and Van Ness at 6.03 uh, on the 23rd of February. Is that your understanding of what we're dealing with today? Yep. All right. So. Um, but I had asked a question about a minute ago. When did you report the incident? So I reported the incident 
that evening, um, okay. pretty much as soon as I got off the bus. Um, okay, I do see an SFGov re service request time of 6.52, which would be Yeah, I wanted to find a place. After, shortly in, after. Yeah, I found a place indoors with good reception and uh, submitted the complaint over the phone. All right, this is the statement that you phoned, that you phoned in, is that correct? Correct. 311? You mentioned, I'm going to abbreviate it if I leave out anything that you think is relevant, you just reintroduce it. Okay. You said, I'm a wheelchair user, the driver arrived, the bus was about a third of the way empty, especially the front. He gave a wave like he might not pick me up. He pulled toward the edge of the block where it would be hard for me to board. He said, the bus is too full. I said, I can tell there's room, there's plenty of room. He said, begrudgingly. Uh, that's a the begrudgingly is a kind of editorial comment, I'm not sure, uh, I'll, I'll have to evaluate it. But he said he begrudgingly put the ramp down and I was about to board safely. Um, okay, so that's the first part of the incident, is that correct? That's on tape, I just saw it. Yes, um, I would like to also just make a note that on the tape, um, you can actually hear me saying, uh, you have room, that's the exact quote of what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, you may have better ears than I, but we can, we're going to review the tape in a few minutes. I would like to make a note about the tape at this moment about that. Um, the audio portion of the tape for the speaking parts um, were very hard to hear. Mm -hmm. I have actually required headphones for me to hear um, the dialogue that I'm going to mention here today. And I have the dates and the, okay. the time stamps. So that. regarding this, the part A of this incident, which is the boarding, mm -hmm. where you boarded? I'm sorry? Were you boarded? Where? Were you boarded? Did they, did the operator board you? I was boarded, yes. Did he lower the lift for you? Yes, he did. Were you able to get on without incident? Without no, trouble? this is the, this is part of the incident. <laughs> Were you able to get on without trouble? Um, he did not lift the seat for me or offer to help did me. Did you ask him to do that? I did not. Okay. Uh, how did you get to the seat? Um, with my electric mobility scooter. I don't mean how you traverse the area from the boarding. I mean, did somebody help you? Did you put yourself at the, did you, were you able to accommodate yourself at that point? Um, with some physical exertion, I was able to accommodate myself to enter the seat, yes. And did you require I, securement? Or? I did not. Okay. I did not require that. I would also like to make a note, I'd appreciate it if the union representative would not shake his head when I'm replying to your questions. I'll, I'll ask the union representative not to express opinions by just, by just, by facial expression. Um, all right, so now the second part of the tape um, is this, I'm calling it part B of the incident. Um, When he dropped me off, this is 18th and Mission, I asked him while getting off in the future, would you stop and talk to me and give me the option to board? He said, wheelchair users always want to get on the bus when it's full. I replied, well, it's obviously wasn't full, and I'm getting off now. Please park, and we asked him to park in a way that's easier to board and talk. Uh, Usually the drivers tell me when I can, when I, when I can't board if there is another bus coming. The driver refused to acknowledge or respond to this request. What was the request? You just read it. Uh, I'm asking that you park next time in a way that is easier to board and talk. That's the request. Yes, it's easier to board and easier to communicate. I would like to also make a note that the driver let passengers on before me, even though that there's supposed to be a wheelchair preference. That's the part A of the incident, is that yes. correct? Okay. Yes. And he did not release the ramp until I said repeatedly, you have room. He did not put the ramp down until I said that.
just taking some notes. Sure, take your time. All right, now the rest of the um, complaint is um, your remarks on what you characterize as a common occurrence for wheelchair, wheelchair users and what they experience. Um, I'm not here to rule on whether that's an accurate generalization or not. I'm here to rule on this incident, so I'm not going to include that. I'm glad that you felt uh, free to communicate this to SFMTA as a matter of SFMTA looking at its rules and regulations. But in terms of the hearing, that's, these are not generalizations that I can adjudicate. Is it all right if I read the rest of the statement for the record? You may, you may but I'm not going to. Uh, Completely fine. Yeah. I'm not going to make a finding on it, so it's not useful, but you can do that, I'll allow you to do it's that. It's useful to me as the only person in the room with a wheelchair who's dealing with this accident on a regular basis. Okay. Reading this Go is ahead. useful to me. I'm reporting this issue because it is a very common occurrence for wheelchair users to experience. Drivers will often play a sort of passive-aggressive game requiring wheelchair users to take extra initiative to argue our way onto the bus. I can do this most of the time because I have good cognitive function. However, I have seen people who cannot speak easily and or have respirators or oxygen tanks that make this kind of self-advocacy very difficult. I'm hoping something that can be done, can, I'm hoping something can be done to change this common behavior so that myself and other San Franciscans can have equal access to our transportation system. Are you in contact with anybody at, at SFMTA about, about disabled issues? I am. Yes. Matt West, by chance. Okay. Yes. So I'm, Matt's received a copy of this, uh, and I'm sure he's considering it. I know what he does. Uh, so, but it's, you've just put it on the record in this case, it was already on the record as a um, uh, submission by 311, so it'll, it'll be considered. Great. Now, on 18th Street, uh, let's look at the tape to see, the DVD, to see if there, uh, and this time around, um, on viewing, whether we have any audio from that. Uh, deboarding of the of the uh, bus. I, I was told that it no longer existed, but if it does, that would be great. Well, it's sometimes there are various administrative people that look at these, and uh, sometimes there are glitches, and sometimes those glitches get resolved. So let's see if it happens. Uh, but let me let me turn to the operator right now, uh, and we have a statement from you that he didn't want to talk about uh, your request that um, to stop and talk and give you the option to board or other uh, patrons the option to board. And he'll address that and he'll also address what happened that day. Do you remember, uh, um, do you remember this? This was happened like a couple of months ago, so I, some of them are hand remember already. Okay. One day we got like six or seven wheelchair, people on the You can remember everybody. Yes, okay. I just remember him. He, um, he brought with a paper and a board, paper, paper board with, with him. So I made a short video. Oh, you yeah. remember? You, 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 I, I, you, I saw, you saw time, this. You saw this. I saw this. Okay, so you've been apprised, you've been told about and read about the charge against you. Yeah. Okay, and I'm asking the union representative now the same question. You, you, you're aware of this and have seen the tape? I have seen it. Okay, seen it, yes, sir. have you seen the tape, yeah. sir? I'm asking that of the operator. Okay, so that refreshed your memory about the incident or, or this um, is? Maybe just like part of it. Yeah. Okay, which is the, which part? Like get on the, like get on the bus, there's, there, there's no problem for him to get on the bus. Okay, so this is what you saw on the video? Yeah, I put on the perfect 
spot to pick him up. Mm -hmm. So how can not how can he say not say? How not say? Okay. So Dad doesn't remember this is uh, I'm turning to the patron right now. I, I oper it, it is credible to me that an operator would not remember because many, many people board over months a particular incident, but he's refreshed his memory by looking at the tape, and he, his observation is that he boarded you correctly. Uh, do you recall a conversation that you had on his boarding? Uh, do you recall any kind of conversation you had with him? A conversation, talking back and forth while he was... No, no, no. Okay, and do you recall a conversation when he got off the bus? I, I couldn't remember what I talked to him. Okay. I'll turn to the union representative, unless you want, do you want to say anything? Okay, okay, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay, first of all, uh, I'd like to apologize to the patron. Uh, I do have a twitch in her damage on my neck. And I, oh, okay. I so that was his situation. I, 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 I did take a kind of fencing for her damage on my right arm. And uh, I want to apologize, but uh, patron told her how Okay, I'll just repeat that. The, okay, the, the union representative. Tributes okay, the expression he had to yeah, yeah, it, it was not rudeness, okay. okay. And, uh, According to the union representative. Uh, as far as uh, the way operators are trained, the way the uh, operators should approach the bus zone is always go to the first spot up in front of the bus zone. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, the video shows that he does go up. Sometimes you have two, three coaches behind, behind the bus to get to the bus zone also. So operators are trained to go up to the first spot. and. Uh, I made a video, uh, uh, the, the, the dip was in the position that the patron was able to go safely as he stated in his uh, comment, which uh, no, with no disrespect to the patron. But the, the, the operator provided service, and uh, if there's a customer service issue, the agency is supposed is uh, is contracted with the local 250A to provide eight hours of customer service a year, which they don't do so. I, I, I don't want to put it back to agency, but we, we need sufficient training every year. Uh, you mean the SFMTA is yeah, not... Yeah, it, it, it's really not a contract. Your contention is that SFMTA is not fulfilling its part of the contract yeah, by right. providing customer yeah. service training to operators? For, for all eight hours, yes, sir. And this operator didn't have it? Uh, well, when we first, when we do first start, and we do have a verification training, uh, uh, transit training once a year to keep our commercial license to buy transit. So and was then, this and, operator? And then was, I talk about it a little bit, but not, not a whole Okay, was there quite, my question is, there, you're saying there was no training in 2018 or 17? I, I, I cannot say that for him, sir. You don't know whether he was trained. Well, let me ask him. Do you recall having had a customer training course of eight hours? Oh, he said that we did no, that's not BTT. No. BTT is separate. Oh. That's a statement. It's, it's useful to know yeah. about this. I didn't know about this before you just mentioned yeah, it. The BTT is, okay. is for, for us able to drive trans vehicles in the state of California. Um, it would be, if if I were to find a violation and there was no, it, the required customer training had not been held, I would consider that, I would weigh that as possible mitigating evidence, but I haven't found any violation, and we want to look at the tape to see if there's anything like that. Okay, so now the, the last part, is I part, what I'm, well, not yet, okay. uh, part B, uh, takes something place. Something missing from part B. So. Something missing where? From what you read earlier, there's one part that was omitted from the complaint that um, I'd like to make a note of. Go ahead. Um, that you know, omitted from your complaint or from my reading? From your your reading of the complaint. Okay, from your that's why you're reading. here. Yes. Um, when I asked him to stop, if he would stop and talk to me and give me the option to board, he said, wheelchair users always want to get on the bus when it's full. And that was one of his replies. Okay. I just underlined that on my copy. 
copy. I'm underlining this on my copy. Well, that's not necess that doesn't necessarily imply that he's saying this bus was full at this time, but he might be saying, uh, I, um, as a generality, which is not what I'm going to decide, that wheelchair users uh, sometimes or always want to get on the bus when it's full and that's difficult. Uh, the word Thanks. sometimes was not in there, but um, it's up to you as the hearing officer to decide. Well, thank you for telling me what my, my authority is. Okay. okay, let's go and take a look at uh, the video. Now, where does this happen? I'm going to show you. Okay. This part we won't be able to tape. Is there a reason for that? Yes, it's a crowded room and it's going to take a while to set up. And I, I can take it off the tripod, that's okay. Okay, fine. Um, I don't think so. Where do I go? Uh, you're going to follow this. We're going to just go down this corridor. Tell me when you are in a position to see this. Sure. One of my concerns, as mentioned before, is that a lot of the audio cannot be heard without headphones, the detail of the voices. I can uh, see if I can procure a headphone afterwards, but I want to just sure. look at it now. Now, for the union representative and the operator, you'll just have to find shares. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll go, you're, you're good? Okay. Um, yeah. If I'm not able to hear the audio, uh, even with headphones, or I'm not able to access it, uh, then I'm going to evaluate your testimony that what you said and the operator's testimony, if he has testimony about what he said. Okay. That's fine. I also would like to note that I have the exact times of when the audio is mentioned, so it could be of assistance in looking into the video. How do you know the exact time? 
because I heard it with headphones last night. And you were watching this particular tape? Is that what you were doing? Yes, the tape. Who, I don't who, know what tape that is. They provided you with a tape of it? Where's, your, where's, where's the source of your tape? The source of my tape is SFMTA staff. They okay, mailed me a copy. Right. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. that's good. I'm glad to hear that. That's a baby. What time do you have on there? Um, the first incident is uh, around 19 hours and let's say nine minutes is a good starting point. Well, then you're. This is a little early, but. This is 18 hours. Nin 19 hours would be 7 o'clock after the incident. That's the time that is stated on the copy that meaning gave. Yeah, this is a, I'm at 18. I'm at 6, 11, 6. You can see it right on my screen. We have, you have a different. Um, this might be the, the lost tape that Mini could not provide me. For all I know, this could be a different tape. I think we're coming up on the corner. Is that better? I can see better. So I'm looking, going to be looking through this screen because this. Uh, so he haunts there. That haunt that you just okay, heard. Okay, there you are. Yes. Okay. That honk you heard and that hand gesture is him honking and saying softly, get the next one, making a hand gesture. And if you listen with headphones, you will hear him say that. But he's, okay, let me just look. So one person, uh, one of the things that you... Okay, so I just saw one person jump on ahead of you, and I say jump advisedly because it's, it seemed to be beyond the driver's, the operator's control that the person just sort of s almost slipped in between you and the... That's not been my experience. I've had drivers ask Well, we're not talking about other experiences. We're talking about this experience. Okay, that's your opinion. No, I'm telling you what I'm here to adjudicate, and I'm not here to adjudicate other experiences. It's not fair to a driver that you're tr alleging uh, misconduct to, to refer to other experiences with other drivers, one at a time. That makes sense. The driver did not ask the person to wait before boarding. Okay, that's different. That's what I'm alleging. The reason I said that is because I've had experiences where drivers had asked the person not to board. You'll see you're coming through here and coming up. I just told him I'm only going to 18th. I'm sorry? I just said I'm only going to 18th. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's the that's what I what I've been calling part A of the incident. Um, 
Did you inspect the part at 1022 where he says, get the next one with a hand gesture? Uh, we just looked at that. I didn't hear it. I mean, you've told me that it might be uh, audible on earphones. Yes. Did you see the hand gesture? No. Um, would you please consider rewatching it so that you could see the hand gesture and listen carefully for the audio? I, I told you what I would do with the audio. I, I'm not going to redo the audio part of it. Okay. Would you consider at least... I'll look at it again, yes. Thank you. Appreciate that. Slow it down. That's one of the things I can do. So let's slow it down to half speed and start earlier and see if we can. We won't get audio on the slowdown. No, that's not good. Okay, let's go back here. So again, the time so mark should be around 10:22. Well, again, we have different clocks. Yeah, it looks like it's just an hour off. So if you look at the upper right corner, it says 18:10:08 right now. Um, and it should be, I believe mine is just an hour off, the one that I was well, I think. Well, let's start. He's coming up to the spot right now, okay? So let's see at slow speed what we get. We won't get the audio when I change speeds, but let's see, you talked about a hand gesture. Yes. There's no, I can't see the hand gesture except on this, I believe. Maybe here. Uh, keep watching. Okay, if you would. Once even slower. Okay, one fourth. Okay, here we go. But he doesn't. Uh, There's the hand gesture right there. Ten twenty two. Yeah. Okay. All right. He went and it's like him. It. Looks like it's him putting a, a thumbs backwards, as in catch the next one. But he. But he stops. Nevertheless, and lowers the ramp. With argumentation, he does. Okay, and that's what you want me to hear, if I can. All right, now let's go to uh, the end. I don't know if we're going to get to the part where you just you're still on the you're still there, right? Mm -hmm. You're on the cell phone, I guess. It, it may end too fast. Like I said, the footage was lost for me. Found the footage, that would be great. <laughs> 